Hi guys, um, I am doing a short video on uh, one of Richard Dawkins' um, video about how a large intestine can evolve into existence. Um, I think I saw a video back a few years ago um, with Richard Dawkins showing how like, you know, the large intestine evolving and whatever, step by step. But I just have a question. I mean, I have a PharmD degree. I study science. Once again, a lot of atheists attack Christians for being anti-science, but a lot of the Christians are actually scientists. Um, they actually study science. Um, and I just have a question like, you know, he is like, I mean, Richard Dawkins was showing how the large intestine evolved, but I mean, he showed it step by step. But once you got a large intestine, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to just let the large intestine lie there for like another million or two million years? To wait for like the you know circulatory system to come about to provide blood for it uh are you going to you know wait for you know like the abdominal cavity uh to evolve um so that you can put the large intestine in there i mean if you have a lot if you cut out your large intestine and just put it in the open air it's going to rot it is going to die because the cells the, the intestinal cells there are a lot of cells in the large intestine if you have um they're gonna die without blood supply. So without the circulatory system or the cardiovascular system supplying oxygen and nutrients to the um, to the intestinal cells, the cells are gonna die. They're gonna rot. And Richard Dawkins was showing, you know, how the large intestine evolves step by step. But I mean, like, just because I show you step by step how a computer was. Uh, assemble doesn't mean there's you know there's no need for an engineer or a computer programmer okay uh, the way that he show how the large intestine could have evolved into existence shows that there is intelligence involved um, and you know he is just intentionally you know like you know a lot of these I'm not attacking atheists I mean like it's just the way they think I have a problem with I'm not personally attacking them um, you know, just think about it. I mean, don't be intentionally like, you know, uh, blind to the existence of uh, intelligent designers. I mean, like we are called homo sapiens, you know, homo sapien means intelligent man, wise man. I mean, everything that we own, you know, like a computer or a cell phone or, you know, a, a bed or a house, they are all products of intelligent design. I mean, there are designers, uh, you know, you require designers for a computer, you re require a designer for a house, you know, architects, engineers, those are all, you know, intelligent designers. And you're not going to find the computer programmer inside the computer. And so just because you cannot find, see God in the universe doesn't mean he doesn't exist. I mean, you're not gonna find the, the, the author of a book by looking just in the book. And so that the problem with the atheists trying to find the origin, um, the, the, the answers to origin issues by only allowing scientists to look inside the universe without uh, allowing scientists to invoke anything supernatural. It's just something uh, unintelligent, it's just illogical. And I think they're just trying to be intentionally excluding I think they're they're not really atheists. They're anti-theist. Uh, in my opinion, they don't want God to exist, even though they know God exists. Um, so uh, to me, it's a you know, it's just being atheism requires actually more faith to accept than intelligent design or creation. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't like to call creationism. I, I like to call it creation because it's it, because it is more logical. It's more scientific than evolution. Evolution is mathematically impossible. It's just not possible, even given like billions of years of the universe. I mean, I've studied science, I've studied chemistry, I've studied physics, I've studied organic chemistry, biochemistry. I mean, you just look at the macromolecules within, you know, organic macromolecules. There's no way you can get those macromolecules by chance. So how do you evolve a, say, a my myo myoglobin? Or hemoglobin I mean given the pre precise makeup of their amino acid sequence 
which is the primary structure of protein. You are not going to, it's, it's very hard. And then atheists will always go back to the world. Oh, it takes millions of years and billions of years, so you're not going to see it immediately. Well, billions of years, according to them, have already gone by. They are already in the past tense. Why is this still not happening? Like, for example, if I chop up a chicken and I boil it for as long as possible, I have all the ingredients to make a chicken, you know, and you know you have all the organic material in there. Do you think if I just boil it for like a thousand years or 10,000 years or 100 million years, some bacteria at least would be boiled alive? I mean, like this is anti-science. Nobody has ever seen that and it's not going to happen. Um, I mean, even given, you know, tens of millions of years, it's not gonna happen because it's, it's just faith-based. It's not observable, it's not testable, it's not science. And in science, the first thing you, you learn in any science class is the scientific method. Scientific method requires observation, requires uh, repeatability, reproducibility. You have to keep on, you know, for example, if I drop a pencil and it drops on the floor, that is, you know, observable evidence for gravity you know, the universal law of gravitation, but you haven't seen any fish evolving into amphibians or amphibians into reptiles or reptiles into mammals. Those, are, those phenomena have never been observed. They have, even after billions of years have gone by according to atheists or according to evolutionists. So this is not science, this is imagination. And you can tell, and you know, I think it's just dishonesty to put this in our science textbooks to brainwash every single student in the world that uh, we came from some, I don't know, if you go back far enough from a Big Bang or from a primordial soup or from, you know, like from, from you know, unicellular organism like a bacterium or something. This is dishonesty. And I've been brainwashed like that. And thanks to uh, young earth creationists, I've come out of it. I've studied science for six years and I've always had trouble rec reconciling creation uh, with the science I study. I mean, I, I've gone through six years of pharmacy school. I have studied science since like middle school. And the more I study science, the more I think it's just amazing. I mean, the scientific laws, all the, you know, like, you know, in, bio, in chemistry, in physics, all of those laws governing, they're so simple, yet they're so elegant. Uh, you look at a single cell, I mean, uh, eukaryotic cell, you have all the cell organelles, how are you going to evolve them? You know, how do they come into existence all at once? How do you, I mean, for example, how do you let a large intestine survive without the simultaneous coexistence of a circulatory system of a human body uh, housing the large intestine or, you know, um, having a human being around, you know? I mean, if you just cut out your large intestine, do you think it's going to like survive by itself and wait for another, you know, 10 or 15 or billion years or whatever evolution to have the circulatory system come about to provide blood for it? It's gonna rot. It's gonna, it's gonna decay and be gone because large intestines are made of soft tissue. There's no bones in large intestines. So um, my question is, I just don't have enough faith to, start to accept evolution, even given long and, you know, billions and billions of years, because that's, it's just given an excuse uh, to science. Um, well, thank you. And I would like to uh, hear any feedback. I know, I hope people won't insult. I mean, I, this is, this, this seems to be um, the repeated pattern. When, whenever atheists cannot answer your question, they start, they will start throwing tantrum. They will start throwing insults and curse and, you know, calling you names. And I've seen this time and time again, which is why I turned off the, um, the comment section, I disabled the comment uh, on my channel because there are so many, I've seen that hostility in so many um, creationist uh, websites, uh, creationist channels, so I just turned them off. But um, I like to get some feedback. I, I have the, um, uh, the uh, the discussion uh, section open. So if you have any questions or any objections, you can comment over there, but I cannot allow my videos to be flooded with insults um, just because you cannot answer my questions or just because 
And most of the time, I have encountered atheists who have not even taken, don't even have a single degree in any science. And they come over there, all they talk about is evolution, evolution. It is as if they want to come over here to just brainwash you with this false science. I mean, like, I, I've studied biochemistry, physics, you know, biology, human anatomy, and physiology. There are so many fields of science. Why do you have to in emphasize that you have to have education on evolution? Can you study genetics? Can you study biochemistry? Can you study organic chemistry? I mean, there are a lot of sciences to learn. I don't have to study evolution. Um, well, thank you for uh, your patience and uh, have a nice day.